Welcome to the Daily Standup. Today, Mel is going to talk about the different tools he uses for open telemetry. So Mel, I know we're, we're not saying that these are must use tools. These are just things that you are currently using. And I think that it'll be good to explain things that have been helping you so that other people can start using them as well. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks for um, bringing that up. I think for me, some of the tools that, that I've been using is to just get to know open telemetry. Uh, there's a lot of interest out there uh, from a lot of folks that I know that, that want to get to know this. So I thought I would dive in uh, a while ago, actually a few months ago. I started diving into it just to figure out like what I could do with open telemetry. So one of the first ones I did was I took two approaches. So the first one was doing this from a code perspective. Uh, when I instrument code, I wanted to see where the messages come from. In other words, when I see logging as an operations person, when I see logging, how is that put together? Why is it that with within one product, for example, that I'm, or product or some service, something that's running, why is it that the log messages could look different? Uh, in other words, there's some part of the, the, the service or whatever that's running, the application is running, and I would see log messages come across that look like something, and then suddenly there's some other part of it, and then it looks different for some reason. Like it's not exactly so. It was very like unstructured. I was trying to understand that. So I wanted to just like firsthand try it myself, get an application running, and just try it and see what happens. Uh, how can I instrument it so that it spits out data or it produces data in a way that that's very um, useful? So I started going down that, and I encountered the Open Telemetry SDK. So that was one of the first things that I did. Uh, I used the S uh, Open Telemetry SDK to do the manual instrumentation, and then I also, while I was working with Open Telemetry itself, there was an Open Telemetry instrument function or application um, from Open Telemetry that just runs on the edges of your application, and that was the uh, what's called automatic instrumentation. So the first one was manual instrumentation. I was using the SDK. The other one was automatic instrumentation, and that was just giving s just basic information at the edges. Uh, something else I tried was looking at uh, incorporating things like, hey, a network device. How can I get a network device to just put out some sort of data and then have it be available in open telemetry? So in other words, I, I just have this device. I have an ISR 1100 here on my desk and it, it produces syslog messages. So can I ship it to somewhere? If I, In other words, send a syslog destination and then have it transform that data and send it out to some, you know, in, as open telemetry some, to somewhere else. And so I did that with FluentD. And in FluentD, I modified the configuration. Uh, there were a couple tricky spots, and I think I'm gonna make a video about this, by the way. There are a couple tr tricky spots uh, with syslog and integrating it with, with FluentD. I finally got it working. And then from there, I'm sending it out as open telemetry so that I could view it with other tools. So that was one, I think, um, or at least two instances, one from like an, you know, coding it and seeing if I could just add it to an application and see how it goes um, in my code using the SDK. And another one was FluentD and I'm just accepting uh, syslog messages and trying to transform them into uh, open telemetry so that I could send it downstream to something that will help me visualize that data. Since you've been playing around with these tools, do you, do you think people are going to be, you know, be able to do this easily? Do you think that people might want more video on this stuff and um, get to know more down to the detail? I mean, we're obviously just touching upon things that you've been trying. And like I said, we're not saying that this is the best or your favorite. It's just things that you've been exploring lately. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think got all is data. Does more data equal better observability? And it doesn't, in my opinion. And that's because you have all this observability data and then you're going to use mostly, probably going to use, it's almost the old Pareto rule, probably going to use like 20% of it or more, whatever your organization is calling for. And then you're probably going to discard the rest or you're just not going to use it. But worst case scenario is you store that and it's never used and storing it costs money. So then how can you take the data and uh, either discard it because you're not going to use it or maybe transform the data in a way that is usable so that you can use it and it'll give you a, a lot more insight into your into your overall application or your overall system. I'm just gonna generically call it a system. Um, so I think to that end, you're gonna have tools, like I, I stumbled on one of the tools is like Edge Delta, for example. Edge Delta has this construct of building a pipeline where you have this notion of inputs, processors, and outputs. And so you can front end your uh, back end 
if you will, the, the, the tools that you're using to visualize things, you can front end it with something like Edge Delta because maybe you want to transform the data into something that's, that's a lot more useful. You could take things like logs and turn them into metrics, for example, and then ship them out to Prometheus. Uh, so that's one an open source tool. You could take your logging, your events, your, 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 your tracing, all that good stuff, data, and then uh, transform it and then send it over to AppDynamics. Uh, so it, it, and, and that's even before you store it. So it's a, it's a great way of building this pipeline that will help you. But again, that's a tool that I just ran into as I'm, my curiosity is just saying, gee, I have this need to do this one thing over here. How can I, is there a tool out there that's going to help me? So yeah, I think the curiosity is there for me. I'm hoping it is for the audience members. And yeah, and I'm hoping that I could help out in, and answer questions as I'm going along this journey that I have for close to a year now in just exploring everything about open telemetry. Well, thanks for sharing the tools that you are currently using. Um, if you and you know, our, our viewers have specific tools that you use and would like to share, you know, please comment down below and we'll catch you at the next episode. Thanks everyone.